What's up friends? We are a week into my 12 days of Vlogmas. If you want to keep up on all of the videos, I will have a playlist down below. And today I'm doing a gingerbread village. I have never done this video on my main channel before. I do have a Patreon video from last year. So I am going to be answering your questions while making a gingerbread village. I think I'm only gonna make one because I only have time for one. But I'm excited because last year I had a pre-built one and now I get to actually assemble it. So I'm going to answer your questions and do this. Let's get started. It'd be Bob the Builder up in here. <laughs> oh, put on my... The first question is, what is your job and is it book related? The answer is yes, it is book related. I am a publicity assistant for children's books primarily at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm a book publicist. I love it. It's my favorite thing ever. I feel like I'm so good at being a book publicist from my time on booktube and I just like to help people and it's my favorite job. I love it so much. I might just do like, you know what? Maybe I can do the whole village, but you know what? We'll just, we'll just see what happens. I don't want to get ahead of myself here. What's this? Does this have directions? Oh, here we go. Perfect. Wow. Wow. Even a video instructions. I love that. Okay. There's too many instructions. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, apparently I have to need this. Uh, I remember doing that last time, so. This should be fine. I thought that it was going to be messier, so I have a paper towel just in case, but I think I should be fine. The next question is, what is your favorite thing about doing YouTube and what is your least favorite thing? For my favorite thing, it is making content and just having everyone interact with it. My favorite thing is when someone comments saying, uh, you're one of my favorite booktubers or hey, I read this book because of you and that makes me so happy. I recently did my personalized book recommendations on my Patreon and I just loved getting everyone's messages that they were so satisfied with what I gave them. It was so much fun. I love it a lot. So that is one of my favorite aspects of doing YouTube. My least favorite thing about doing YouTube is just getting in my head. This year I got in my head so much about my numbers and just not growing and it sucks because I wish I could grow more because I love my content and I just want more people to see it. So if you do enjoy my videos, sharing them and liking them really helps me so much because then more people can see it. The algorithm favors videos that get a lot of engagement. So when you comment and you like, that helps my content grow. Going off of that, I would love to know in the comments if this is your first year finding my channel and if so, how did you find me? Was it from the Queer Lit Readathon? Was it one of my videos? Let me know in the comments because I would love to know. My channel is slowly growing and I'm just hoping by next year it grows a little bit more. And that is the hardest thing about YouTube is that I put so much effort into my videos and when they don't perform very well, I get sad. <laughs> but everyone's loving the Vlogmas content. It's going well, so thank you for tuning in. I'm excited. Now let's get into this gingerbread house because this should be done. And if not, oh well. <laughs> Um, next is a question I wasn't going to answer, but I'm going to answer it anyway. And that is, are you single? And the answer is yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's been a while and I really, sometimes I hate it. Sometimes I like it. Uh, depends on the day, <laughs> but yes, I am single and I hope that that changes next year. I thought I would be able to finish this in time for the game, but I don't think that that's going to happen. It's fine. <laughs> The next question is best audiobook. I have two answers for this. First is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. I love this so much because it's about a girl named Brie. She's a rapper and her rap song goes viral and you get to hear the music. This was such an awesome audiobook. I love it so much. And I recently listened to Where We Go From Here by Lucas Roca and it was so good. 
you get to hear all of the characters like everyone has their own voice and that is my favorite thing about audiobooks and I loved it. I talk more about it in my Queer Lit Readathon reading vlog but those are just two of my favorite audiobooks. Hopefully next year I'll do a full audiobook recommendation video but let's do this. I'm scared. <laughs> All right, I'm so scared about this. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be hard. Oh wow, that's actually so easy. All right. Next is Are You a Night Owl or an Early Riser? I am a night owl for sure. I go to bed most nights at like one, two o'clock in the morning. I should probably fix that. <laughs> I'm pretty content with it for now. Now I'm scared because I feel like I should get scissors for this. I also think that this might be a little bit easier because it's smaller. Does that work? Hello? Wait. Oh uh, wait, maybe I'm supposed to do this. I am horrible at reading directions. If you could get another pet, what kind of pet would you get? I was actually thinking about this just from reading that question because I read the questions beforehand just to make sure none of them were inappropriate <laughs> because I specifically said, do not give me any inappropriate questions. But I said a snake. I actually have always wanted to get a snake, but I don't know. I'm pretty content with cats for the moment. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's definitely the icing that's like giving me such an issue. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, the thing with this shit is that this icing is always so annoying. And I don't know if it's my fault. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just the icing on this stuff just never really works. What is your favorite pizza and why? Uh, I like pepperoni pizza. If I'm getting pizza, that's probably what I'll get. But I do like a good red and white. That's pretty good. How are you doing? I'm actually pretty good. I just went to my nephew's first birthday party, so that was pretty fun because I didn't get to see him. And I talk a little bit more about that in the vlog I'm currently filming that I'm hoping to get out tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I'm actually doing pretty good. Hockey's coming on soon. And I mean, right now, as I'm trying to figure this shit out, I'm, <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. Oh my God. No, this is definitely my fault, but I just need to let this sit out. Can I just like roll something over? I'm like, the icing, I always have trouble with the icing whenever I do this stuff. I also like do not have patience, so. <laughs> My patience runs very low, so these kind of things are a struggle. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yes. Got it. We're on to something. <sighs> Listen, it was there for a second and then it just broke. What made you a hockey fan instead of other sports? I just think baseball is boring and I tried to be a baseball fan. I just wasn't into it. But I was just introduced to hockey from when I was like in high school and I just loved it so much. A lot of my guy friends were into it and 
they just kept talking about it and I was like, okay, I guess I will look it up and watch it. So then I just kind of became very intrigued because it's more of like a community and like fandom kind of thing where Philly fans are just so dedicated to their sports teams and hockey is just such a fun sport to watch and I just I don't know I just always loved it I just watched one game and now here I am <laughs> making it my home brand and why does this not want to work? And I know why. It's because I didn't let the icing sit, which I probably should do, and then go back to it. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, so it wasn't anything like my family was into it or anything. My family are kind of like low-key sports fans. Like, I'm really the biggest hockey fan. If you could read any book for the first time again, like you could forget how it goes and re-experience reading it for the first time, what book would you pick? Okay, so I let this sit and I think I'm going to have a better time now. Let's see. While I think about what book I would like to reread for the first time again, I think... I just have had To All the Boys of Love before on my mind because I've been saying it for like every answer lately, but I would probably say either that or I was going to say this book when I first read this question and I think it's a good possibility. So I'm going to go with Cemetery Boys because I would love to just reread for the first time the <laughs> one scene uh, I don't want to, like, I don't want to spoil, but there's a scene with a car and I would love to read that again for the first time. It's probably one of my favorite scenes because Yad's is just unhinged, <laughs> but I really would like to reread Cemetery Boys for the first time again. That would be awesome. Now, there's a couple more questions left, but they're heavy questions that require thinking. So... <laughs> Let's answer what is one of your most highly anticipated books that is coming out in 2022. I actually just posted my sports books coming out in 2022 video. So that will be linked up above if you would like to watch it. And I have to go with the last book in the Beartown series called The Winners, but also Icebreaker by A.L. Grazia Day. I am so excited for that book. And this is working out so much better. They're both hockey books and I'm very excited for them. Uh, but all the books I mentioned in that video, I'm excited for. Dude, how does this not like actually stick? It's so annoying. Um, there's also a question asking me if I'm ever going to read Amari and the Knight Brothers. And I will eventually. Uh, maybe I'll add it to my 2022 TBR. I don't think I'll be able to get to it this year, but I've heard it's really good and I'm excited to read it because I love reading middle grade books. Next question is how many hockey items do I own? And the answer to that is way too many. Um, I just own a lot of jerseys and just like hockey stuff. I have like a gritty doll. I have like a Wayne Simmons plushie. I have um, a Wayne Simmons Funko Pop. I have my button that I talked about in my anything but books tag and I keep saying that but I know that that's not the actual title of it. Okay, this is going to be terrifying. Okay, looks like it's coming together. I'm very excited. <laughs> but if I were to give you like a rough estimate, maybe I'd say like 50. <laughs> just because I have like hats and I have shirts and I have like my magnets and I just have a bunch of hockey stuff. I have a hockey stick. <laughs> I have everything hockey. I have hockey dice. I like flyers dice. Okay, I might be putting this on wrong. Okay, well it looks like it's Find it together. Oh, wait, is there a bottom piece to this? Oh, is there? No, there's not. That's kind of weird. 
I wonder if it's supposed to like just sit on this cardboard thing. Oh no. <laughs> okay. That's fine. We're gonna fix it. That's why I have this paper table. I also have like a bunch of flyers ornaments and I have <laughs> Uh, just a bunch of stuff. I have so many things, but it looks like my little house is coming together. I love it so much. And now I'm going to decorate it with the candies and stuff. Um, there's also like sprinkles, gum drops. Ooh, fun. I'm excited. Have you ever felt 100% represented in a book? If so, what was it? I actually answered this question in my Hot Ones video. So if you would like to go and watch that, it was a Q&A video for my booktube birthday where I try to do truth or dab. If there was a question I didn't want to answer, I had to take one of the Hot Ones sauces. So that was a fun video. If you want to watch it, it'll be up above. But for this, I have to say, Stay Gold. Uh, that's just the one book that I felt 100% represented in. And I also say Between Perfect and Real because um, Dean comes out as a lesbian and I just have that same experience. Um, and then he realizes he's a trans guy. And with Stay Gold, I just can relate to a lot of Pony's thoughts and his life. And I love that book. It gets such a bad reputation. And it really sucks because trans characters who are messy should still get the same respect and it really sucks. I have some other questions from my friend Sarah who is asking me basically I'm being quizzed on her and those are going to have to probably wait to the end. Um, but let me know in the comments what your favorite vlogmas video has been so far. And I shared a whole list of every video I'll be doing with my patrons. So if you would like to become a patron and help support my channel, you can pledge $1 to become a paperback pal. We're going to be watching the Santa Claus today. I do a watch party every month if I am available. And I have a lot of fun things coming in 2022. I'm so excited to like film those over my break. I'm so excited. And I think everyone's going to enjoy them. And if not, I'll be really sad. <laughs> I love this. This is actually so much easier than last year's. And I got this from Walmart. Because I want the gumdrops to look like lights. I think I'm going to do sprinkles for the top. Or should I do these? These kind of look more like bulbs. Maybe I should have done that, but I don't know if I'm going to decorate, like, all of it. Maybe I'll just, hmm. This was actually so much easier and less stressful. I wish I would have known to, like, thaw this out because that helped me so much. All right. Now I'm trying to sprinkle these, and I feel like it's going to be a disaster. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It absolutely was. <laughs> I also wanted to mention that I created a video request form. If there's ever a video you would like to see me do, you can just leave that idea in the form. I'll check it and maybe I will do your idea. It really helps me figure out what you want to watch because as much as I have fun making videos, sometimes I'm stuck and I like your feedback because you guys have really good ideas. I really loved the advent calendar prompts. They were so fun. I am in the middle of filming that. I'm hoping to get it out on Monday. Uh, we'll see what happens, but I'm excited nonetheless because I'm really enjoying making that video. There's actually so many books that I would never have picked up and that's why I love doing themed videos like that. I don't really have much planned for next year though. So besides like these projects that I'm going to do, I don't really have anything else planned. I'm loving this, it looks so good. <laughs> I don't know if it looks good, but I think it does. Okay, I wish I could make this whole village, but I can't. So this is what my little house looks like. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, so I'm finished my house. Let me finish up these questions and then I have to edit this video. Uh, let's see. What would you like to see more of in trans and LGBT fiction? I just want to see books where trans people are existing in fun environments like a competition show or reality TV. I've been loving those kind of books lately and I love transport stories. As you know, I just want to see more of them and it makes me so excited to keep working on my book, Breaking the Ice, because I'm seeing so many transport stories where the characters are just existing and that is why I'm writing Breaking the Ice. And the last question is from my friend Sarah saying, what do you think my favorite Fall Out Boy song is? When we met up in San Francisco, I went to see Fall Out Boy with her. My favorite Fall Out Boy song is Saturday. So for her, I'm going to say Uma Thurman. I think that that's her favorite or one of her favorites. I can't remember. It could also be Centuries, but those are just two of my guesses. And I'm hoping that I'm right. So Sarah, let me know in the comments if I am right. And that is me making a gingerbread house. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you're enjoying the 12 days of Vlogmas. Let me know in the comments what your favorite video has been or videos. Thank you for supporting me this year. I really appreciate it and I cannot wait to launch all of my projects next year. I have so many fun things that I want to do and I hope that you will be as excited as I am. If you're new here, feel free to hit subscribe and turn on my post notifications so you do not miss a video. My 12 days of Vlogmas playlist will be down below. You can just save it so you can follow along with all my videos. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like so more people can see it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Hopefully it's my advent calendar vlog. Bye.